I'm journalist Reagan Story here to present the morning announcements. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our morning prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, and the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, everyone. Happy Feast Day. Today is the Feast of St. Joseph, our school and patron, uh, and parish's patron, but also the patron of the Universal Church. In this year of St. Joseph, uh, and also on this Feast Day of St. Joseph, uh, I'm going to read from Pope Francis' letter on St. Joseph. The Gospel does not tell us how long Mary, Joseph, and the child remained in Egypt. Yet they certainly needed to eat, to find a home and employment. It does not take much imagination to fill in those details. The Holy Family had to face concrete problems like every other family, like so many of our migrant brothers and sisters who today, too, risk their lives to escape misfortune and hunger. In this regard, I consider St. Joseph the special patron of all those forced to leave their native lands because of war, hatred, persecution, and poverty. At the end of every account in which Joseph plays a role, the Gospel tells us that he gets up, takes the child and his mother, and does what God commanded him. Indeed, Jesus and Mary, his mother, are the most precious treasure of our faith. We should always consider whether we ourselves are protecting Jesus and Mary, for they are also mysteriously entrusted to our own responsibility, care, and safekeeping. The Son of the Almighty came into our world in a state of great vulnerability. He needed to be defended, protected, cared for, and raised by Joseph. God trusted Joseph, as did Mary, who found in him someone who would not only save her life, but would always provide for her and her child. In this sense, St. Joseph could not be other than the guardian of the church, for the church is the continuation of the body of Christ in history, even as Mary's motherhood is reflected in the motherhood of the church. In his continued protection of the church, Joseph continues to protect the child and his mother, and we too, by our love for the church, continue to love the child and his mother. That child would go on to say, as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it for me. Consequently, every poor, needy, suffering, or dying person, every stranger, every prisoner, every infirm person is the child whom Joseph continues to protect. For this reason, St. Joseph is invoked as the protector of the unfortunate, the needy, exiles, the afflicted, the poor, and the dying. Consequently, the church cannot fail to show a special love for the least, these least of our brothers and sisters. For Jesus showed a particular concern for them and personally identified with them. From St. Joseph, we learn that the same care and responsibility. We must learn to love the child and his mother, to love the sacraments and charity, to love the church and the poor. Each of these realities is always the child and his mother. St. Joseph, pray for us. Have a good rest of the day. In this year of honoring our patron, St. Joseph, let us now acknowledge him on this feast day with this novena prayer. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust, with you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Food Service Director Jeff Crowder has today's lunch menu for us. Friday, thank goodness. It's cheese pizza, mac and cheese, carrot sticks with ranch, and chocolate chip cookies. There are no other announcements. Enjoy the rest of our shortened school day. Have a great spring break, but keep following COVID protocols and stay safe.